Hello, my marvellous sausages. Now, you know, I love to sneak into Zavala's office when he's off playing strip poker with Star Horse and parade around in various shaders for the pleasure of his droids. Although they never look around, but I know that they love it. Anyway, I noticed that there were very few animated shaders in the game. So this got me thinking about how many there actually were. So I conducted an experiment and slapped on every shader shader I could find to see how many of these babies were animated. So some of these shaders are from events, some of them are from Eververse, some of them you actually can't get anymore and one of them everybody should be able to get and I'll leave that one till the end. So let's get our clobber on and vogue it baby. Now the first one I want to talk about is Dawning Elegance. Now this popped into the game back in 2019 during the dawning. 70% of us have it so there's quite a few of us who do have it. Now, now this shader goes really well on metallic surfaces and I'm using my Titan here of course because they've got lots of shiny armour haven't they? You'd actually be surprised at the proportion of shiny armour that Titans do have. Look, Warlocks don't have that much shiny armour, it's a lot more material. So it's pretty cool to show them on here and you can see we've got that little snowflake effect. Yes, that one there, that goes really well on anything shiny. So it does move but if you look on this kind of stuff, look you can't see anything at all. So what you're looking for is metal surfaces to get the most out of this and of course it goes well on certain ships as well particularly the Starfarer 7M. Sticking with events and the dawning we've got the gold J as well which is this baby here. Now then this came uh, in 2020 only 33% of people have this one so this goes well again on metallic surfaces but it's got the same pattern but it puts a white background on it instead of the blue background that you've got with the dawn elegance so you know now that's no good of course and you can't see it on uh, any material there but if we put a, a shiny set of armor on like this baby or will it work on a mid near yeah barely on that one too but this one also works well on weapons I've stuck it on my Cartesian coordinate here because it's got a nice flat-sided thing where you can see the uh, snowflake stuff moving along but there we go that's another animated one for the events now what I'm gonna move on to next are the Eververse shaders so this is stuff you can only buy from the Eververse. Now the Seven Sisters shader is Eververse and it came in season 13. You can see their season of the chosen. Only 30% of us have this one but this is a bloody brilliant one. It's got loads of animation on it. Look it's a basically a really cool star field and it seems to go on material as opposed to shiny stuff. So this is why I'm showing it to you on my warlock. Uh, so let's have a little look here. You can see look at the bottom there. Nice bottom too and it's got a gold thing going on as well it's very very pretty and it does go on these things very differently when you go through them all too now of course this doesn't work as well oh that's nice this doesn't work as well on weapons because it's looking for duller material really so anything dull and matte you can see there is a slight uh, animation going on there but generally it doesn't go on the weapons that well I'm looking here at my hunter cloak this is an ornament it's the solstice cloak rekindled ornament but it's a nice big sheet of color so look at that you can see that animating on there that's brilliant so I really do like the seven sisters there but materials the way to go for that next we're gonna look at amethyst bloom now this came in season of the hunt and 38% uh, of us have it it's through the eververse you've got to wait for it to pop up now and again but look at it it's got a hell of a great animation cloud effect that goes on the side of any kind of metal really particularly shiny metal so it doesn't go well on the material but on the metallic it goes marvelously let's try some breast plates yeah anything there with that nice shine on it look that centerpiece in the dragonfly regalia you can see it always moving on there on the ribbed section so it's highly shined <laughs> reflective rather surfaces so next we're gonna look here at the mistoposphor shader I think I'm getting that pronunciation right I'm probably completely wrong but anyway let me just uh, come out here and show you the whole shabonky as they say now this animates pretty much on a lot of things. You can't see it animating on the uh, dull metallic there on the chest, but look at that on the cape. There's loads of movement on there. Let's just have a look at the warlock here. I've got uh, my uh, 
corrupted echo robes, corrupting echo robes on. This is quite nice because it's got quite a mixture of uh, surfaces on it. But yeah, look, it moves great, really well. Let me just flick through and see. Yeah, that's an excellent one. Of course, you've got to like a green, but you know, that's excellent, isn't it? Yes. Now, the next two I want to look at are from the same season, the season of the hunt again. Of course, these are all from Eververse, the ones I'm talking about at the moment. 42% have this first one, and it's called Copper Brand. Now, it hasn't got... It's not a massive animation, but you can see there, look, there's a gentle pulse rippling down the side of my Cartesian coordinate. That's very nice. It's a sort of goldy, coppery colour, of course. And then the next one is the uh, Laguna Cruiser. Let's stick that one on. And you can see a similar effect going on there, so it's a nice opposite blue. It is very pretty indeed, but as far as armor's concerned, of course, it's not that grand. There we go, we've got Copper Brand on there, look, and bugger all. I don't think it fits very well. Let's quickly look at the uh, Laguna, um, what's it called? Cruiser. There's our baby. Stick that on there. And yes, much the same bugger all. It's too subtle to see. Right next, I'm going to be talking about shaders that I don't think you can get in the game anymore. So you've, or if you've already earned them, then great, go and have a little look through your collections for them, but you can't get them anymore because they've been tied to certain things like season passes or certain missions. So, this first one is called Gambit Emerald. Let's stick it on here. Now then, you can see that there's bugger all going on there, really. Now this came in uh, Season of the Undying. Only 29% of people had this one and uh, it came from a quest called keeping on but the reason why we can't see it of course on my old uh, warlock here is because we need a metallic surface so let's go and use our friend the cartesian coordinate where are you season of the undying there we go and we'll apply the gambit emerald there there we go. Now, there is a very... Is there? Yes. yes. Of course it is. What I'm talking about. You can see just at the bottom there, it's kind of the same cloudy effect as the last one we looked at, really. The Laguna Cruiser and the Copper brand. But it does the same thing. But because it's a dark green, you don't see it as much. Now, these next four, I'm lumping all together in one. Because they all came from the original season of The Forge ages ago. And uh, they can only be acquired by dismantling the gear with the shader attached to it. So you never you might have something tucked away in your vault if you're lucky but that's the only way to get these at the moment so what we've got a choice of here is we've got the uh, new age black armory which is that baby there and they can see look it's got like a moi effect on it very very wavy slow moving effect next we've got the sato tribe here you can see it works pretty well on weapons this i do like this one because it's got a nice wavy blue effect on the white it's quite subtle but it's pretty cool and then we've got the uh, house of my mayrin which uh, is a red base there we go you can see it's swirling there and finally we've got the rasmussen clan one thing i have noticed about these shaders all of them they've all got the same background look on the material so i'm going to change the rasmussen clan here and you can see it's basically still the same we switch this over then to the house of myron you'd expect it to go red but look no it just stays it just stays that dull green and changes the collar and the Satu tribe, which would be lovely to turn them all white, but uh, it doesn't. Look, it makes it still. Now, I don't know if this is a cock up or uh, some sort of bug, but uh, you'd expect it to change more than that, wouldn't you? And I've tried it on the Hunter as well, and it does the same thing. So it works a lot better on your weapons. Now, this next one came out at the same time as those other four that we've just been talking about, but it's very, it's it's unique. No other shader does this, okay? And it's called the Bagusian Knight or the Bagusian Knight or whatever. Now, it comes from Season of the Forge, again, and uh, it can only be found by dismantling gear that you earned in the Bagusian Forge or whatever it was called. So that's the only way you could have gotten this particular shader. 35% of people have it. Now, the reason why it does something completely different is let me show you let's stick it on and then you think to yourself oh well it's not doing that much but look the color intensifies and then drops back away and this works on lots of material and it looks bloody brilliant doesn't it it looks really really nice there's the strong purple coming in again and then you'll see it just slowly die off again Nice, eh? I, I haven't seen that anywhere else. I didn't know about this at all until I started doing this bloody video. Let's do a full application and see what it does. One, two, three, and... Right, see? Yeah, look at that, look. That's good. And it put like it goes through the whole thing. So it's starting to fade back down. Yeah, look, the whole thing fades out a little bit. And then it's like turning up the... Uh... 
<laughs> the intensity of the colour. It's lovely. You can see as well, look, there's small runes flying around in it as well. So yeah, it is totally different, but material based, I think. Right, we should get a pulse on here. There we go. That's coming stronger there now, and that should wash out. There we go. Look, it's just washing out. So yeah, it's material object that seemed to do the trick. Next, let's have a look at this one. It's called First Frost. Came up in Season of the Undying, and it was a season pass reward. And what we got with this one is a slightly twinkly little stars look that you can see there in the background. It's like a, a star field. It doesn't move as well as Seven Sisters, but it does twinkle and it works very well on metallic stuff or reasonably well on metallic stuff but if you stick it on any kind of material you're not going to get much joy it's just a plain black look it does have a slight shine to it i suppose but you get no star field and the last shader i want to talk about is this one it's called blue shift dreams now this can be had by anybody who can play destiny basically because you get it from dismantling weapons in the dreaming city now 60 3% of people have this one and Forsaken of course is all the way back in season 4 and uh, these weapons you can get them to drop from doing the blind well because you're going to get Dreaming City weapon drops every time you play the blind well so that's a good way of getting it when you dismantle it you have a chance of getting the shader now what it does it works really well on metal and you can see look it gives like a rippled shadow effect here I'm using it on a Dreaming City weapon called Vouchsafe because it's almost as if it was made for it considering it came out at the same time and it's very nice isn't it yes and it feels and looks exactly like the dreaming city to me so there we go that's every animated shader at least i could find in the game and i did go through the whole bloody lot of the ones that i've got in my collections but let me know if you found one that i haven't mentioned it'd be great to know and then we can all add to our database of knowledge yes and don't forget if you enjoyed the video give me a like and a subscribe that would be utterly fantastic and give me a comment as well and let me know well what you've got on your duds and how sexy you look. Thank you so much for watching and I shall speak to you all again very soon. Sausage hoot.